Wow. So how long have you been single? Um, kind of on and off for about two years, maybe. What is on and off? I say on and off. I've, I've been on dates, yeah. but it's never amounted to anything. People kind of pull away after a while. Yeah. Um, I do kind of worry as well, see that the Tourette's might be a problem. Um, hey. Kind of feel like people are embarrassed to introduce me to their family yeah. and friends and stuff like that. I don't think it should matter, really. Hey! Whoops. I'll just get my coat, yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I'm not normally this bad, by the way, either. Hey! Nipples. I've got three nipples. Yeah. It's fine, it's cool. Last day I went on. Literally, we're having a few drinks. It's going quite well. And he went, Do you remind me of someone? I was thinking, who's it going to be? Denzel Washington. <laughs> like, and he went, The donkey from Shrek. Not even lying. <laughs> That's like a donkey. Well, if you've got all our donkey like aspects, that's not a problem, is it? <laughs> Are you really a dancer? What kind of dancing? Street. Pop in, lock in. Let me see then. Oh, I'm a bit impressed. I am. <laughs> So what do you do? I've got my own business right now. Right. And it's random because I don't feel like the typical businessman, really. Right. I mean, I model part-time on the side anyway, right, just, okay. just for, like, a laugh, do you know what I mean, and get some money. Yeah, it's just <laughs> <laughs> I get some nice pictures to I show mean, when you look like that, you do. <laughs> Give over. <laughs> well, I'm actually studying at the moment. I'm doing um, mental health nursing. Why did you choose it? Like, how did you get um, into mental health? Well, I, I love, like, working mm. with people and, and trying to, to help them out. Yeah. I've had my own issues in the past with... Well, I had a kind of breakdown mm. back in, in 2013. That was my Britney's 2007. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my kind of... Yeah, I had a really bad year that year. Um, You're making me emotional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's> emotional. yeah. <laughs> I was in love and... And that, I took that break up really hard. I, I just didn't think that I, I could cope. It was at that time that the tick started. I couldn't even speak because I was just ticking constantly. And I remember my dad kind of getting upset and I could tell that he was trying to hold back tears. And so, because of that, I, I decided, right, the best way to kind of cope with this at the minute is joke about it. Woo! Hey, party! <laughs> I don't even know if it'll go, if it'll stay, and I've made my peace with it. I'm like, either way, I've changed, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think I've had, well, I know I've had depression, like, on and off since I was about 14 years old. Right. And I had a hard time, like, four years ago. Right. Went through quite a really bad period. Right. Could call it a breakdown if you want. Um, a Britney moment. Yeah. I'm very, 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 very good at hiding it. I say it's like the weather in your head. You can just wake up one day and there's a big black cloud and you're like, oh shit. I accept it now, I didn't accept it before. Right. And since I've done that, I can manage it better. Because mm. before yeah. I was just blaming it on everything else. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. I just have to accept it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Who owns that kitten? Hey, kitten fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be background noise. Hey. <laughs> just, it's like filter them out at some point as well. I'm just getting used to it. Yeah, you'll get used to it. <laughs>